In this question, they're asking us to calculate the derivative of uh, function f with respect to s, where um, f is given by e to the power of s plus ln s cubed. Now, because it's a function e to the power of something, we might be inclined to use uh, the formula, the derivative with respect to s of e to the power of s would just be e to the power of s. However, this formula is only good uh, when the exponent matches exactly what you're taking uh, the derivative with respect to. Um, here we have the exponent is s, we're taking the derivative with respect to s, so this formula would be totally fine. However, the question is actually e to the power of s plus ln s cubed. This isn't just s, so we can't just directly use this formula. We're going to have to do something instead. So what I'm going to do is take the complicated bit, uh, the exponent there, and I'm going to just rename it. Just call it something else. I'm going to call it h. So h is s plus ln of s cubed. This means the thing we're actually trying to take the derivative of looks kind of like e to the power of h. Okay, well, I'm going to name this something. I'm going to call it a function. I'm just going to call it g of h. So e to the power of h is just some function g. So one can kind of convince themselves that it appears that f is equal to our function g of h, where we replace h's with uh, what h actually is, s plus ln of s cubed. So now to take the derivative of f with respect to s, we can use the chain rule. It says the derivative of f with respect to s is the derivative of g with respect to its variable, its variable is h, times the derivative of h with respect to its variable, which is just s. So we can go ahead and do this. The derivative of g with respect to h, so the derivative of e to the power of h with respect to h, now we can use this kind of formula. This is just e to the power of h. And then we do the derivative of h with respect to s. So the derivative of h with respect to s, this is h, s plus the logarithm of s cubed. Okay, so we can go ahead and actually calculate uh, this derivative using some of the, the rules that we know. This is e to the power of h, I won't touch that. Uh, the derivative of s with respect to s is just one. And now what we need to do is we need to calculate the derivative uh, with respect to s of ln of s cubed. Now you might be inclined to say, well, I have, a, I have a formula for what to do when I need the derivative of ln, it's just one over. But the problem is, is that that only works uh, again, like uh, if you have ln of s. If we had ln of s here, that would be no problem. However, we have ln of s cubed. So we can't, we don't have a formula for ln of s, taking the derivative of ln of s cubed. So we're gonna have to do something a little bit um, more clever again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, say, this a name. I'm going to call this, this little bit, the thing that we're going to actually take the derivative of. Let's call this, um, say, r. Okay, so what we would like to do is we have a function r, and we'd like to take its derivative with respect to s. So um, to do that, um, it looks like ln of s cubed. If it was just ln of s, that would be no problem to take the derivative of. We have a formula for that but uh, it's ln of s cubed. So I'm gonna replace this kind of uh, confusing bit, the uh, s cubed, I'm just gonna give it a name, just like we gave uh, the confusing bit a name above. I'm gonna call t is equal to s cubed. So this part t is equal to s cubed. Now, that means our function r kind of looks like, this is the exact same thing we did above, this makes our function kind of look like ln of t. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a name, z. Z is this function ln of t. So what the chain rule says is that if I'm looking for the derivative of r with respect to s, which is what I'm looking for the derivative of r with respect to s, which is what we have to calculate to, to solve this part, that's exactly equal to uh, the derivative of z with respect to its variable, t, times the derivative of t with respect to its variable, which is s. This is the exact same kind of thing we did in the previous step. So we're just using the chain rule twice in this question. The derivative of z with respect to t, now I can actually go ahead and use the formula that I know, the derivative of ln t with respect to t is just one over t, times the derivative of t with respect to s, and we can just use the power law here, this becomes one third, uh, or sorry, three times s squared. Now I can simplify this because I know what t is. t is just s cubed, so this becomes three times s squared divided by s cubed. And when I cancel, or cancel uh, this s squared with uh, the s cubed, I'm left with just three over s. Okay, so 
looking back at actually what the original question was, df by ds is equal to, after all of this, we figured it out it was e to the power of h times 1 plus, now this is the part we just calculated. We calculated this is r, we calculated the derivative of r with respect to s. It is 3 over s. So this just becomes 3 over s. Now, uh, f was a function of s. They want the derivative with respect to s, and uh, we have an s here, but we have an h here. That's kind of weird. We, we don't want h's, so we need to replace uh, h by what its actual expression was in terms of s. So we look all the way up here. h was just s plus ln of s cubed. So that means I'm allowed to say uh, that this is just e to the power of s plus ln of s cubed times 1 plus 3 over s. And this is our final answer.